AI agents are basically the future of most apps. In the future, there will be no more apps. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Flutterflow just announced AI agent builder. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how agents are going to change everything in the app business. And more importantly, how you can write the AI agents way before it's too late. So let's get started. With Flutterflow unveiling the AI Agent Builder, it makes it almost too easy to create agents. Just paste your API key, add a custom prompt. You can actually tell ChatGPT to create a good prompt for you. And boom, instant AI chatbot. But wait, it's not just chatbots. With the right prompt and parsing the response, the AI agent can automate the workflows in your app, fill in the data, execute actions, and a lot more. And Flutterflow's own channel has a really good tutorial on this. So I'll also put the link. So for now, the Flutterflow AI agent builder is good. I mean, it's all right. But not advanced at all. By using the Assistant API itself, we can create really reliable AI chatbots and agents who take action for us. And also we can put voice AI agents. Imagine having a blue button glowing somewhere in the app and it's waiting for you to give it a prompt by voice or by chat. 500 cigarettes. And it will take action in your app immediately. This is the future. In our Patreon community, we are going to have a detailed and slow-paced tutorial on how to implement these APIs and workflows. But don't worry, for this video, I'm also going to go through the process so you have a better idea on how to implement it yourself too. So on how to do it the proper and the more advanced way. The first step is to open up Playground on OpenAI platform and open up Assistant, create a new Assistant. Give it a Hello World name. And for instructions, I'm going to use the ChatGPT instructions. And obviously, you need to engineer the instructions a lot more because it's really important. GPT-40 is probably more than enough for you. So we are not going to use functions because implementing it on Flutterflow is a lot harder and requires a server-side program. Instead, we are going to use something called structured outputs. What does it mean? It means that OpenAI will guarantee the output schema. So 100% of the times, the JSON schema will be the same. So you can achieve something similar with providing the JSON schema to the system instructions, but this won't be 100% guaranteed and the user can sabotage it and create a lot of edge cases where it creates invalid JSON responses. Now that we know why we are going to use structured outputs, Let's get back to Playground. And OpenAI has this really nice AI generator where we describe our JSON schema and it will define the schema over here. So I'm just going to tell it that our JSON response will have a Boolean that says if the user should navigate or not, and the navigation name, and the normal conversational text. And voila, we have the schema ready. Amazing. Now we click Save, and then we can test it. So I want to create a new post. Look at this beautiful thing. So we have navigate equals true. So we know on the app level, we need to take an action. We need to navigate the user to somewhere else. And we have the navigation name. So we can define the possible navigation names on the system instructions. And we also have the conversation text where we can show it on the chat. Now, if I say thanks, navigate is false and we have no navigation name. This is pretty awesome. So how do we use it on our Flutterflow project? On Flutterflow, on the API calls page, we need to create a new group and call it Assistant. It has the OpenAI base URL and it has the authorization headers. We have create thread and we have add message and we have create run. So we need to create a thread, add a message to the thread and create a run. So we need three API calls for the first one. But we have another endpoint called create thread and run. So with this endpoint, we can summarize it all with one API call. So if we take a look at the body of those API calls on create thread and run, we have the assistant ID, we have the first message, and on adding a message, we set the role and we set the content. And for creating a run, we just pass the assistant ID and set a stream to true, same as create thread and run. 
And one thing we need to change is on the advanced settings, we need to enable process streaming response, both for create thread and run and create run. And on our chat page, we use the API calls like this. So first of all, we check the thread ID on our page state. And if it's null, we create a new chat thread on Firestore and we add the first chat to the chats list. And then we make the API call to create a thread and create a run. So since this is an, a streaming API call, it's a bit different. If we open up on message, we can see on the conditional, we check if the event type is message.completed, we add the response to Firestore database like this. And for the next messages, we use add message and we tell the assistant to create a run. On the chat list, we have a component and in this component, we decide if we have to show a button to make an action, for example, navigate and create a post, or it's just text. So we need to parse the response. And based on that, we show those buttons and text conditionally. And the user content will always be simple text. And yeah, that's pretty much it on a high level. It will be really different for each app. That's why I didn't want to go through the details on a YouTube video. So that's an overview of how agents are going to change everything about apps and how you can implement it. If you need a more detailed and slower paced tutorial, consider joining the Patreon community where we build everything together at the same speed, like a build with me project where we create an in-house Patreon alternative. Yeah, stabbing them in the back. And also you help the channel to keep going and keep going fast. Thank you for watching the video to the end. See you in the next one.